What's going on YouTube? So with today's video, let's dive into the brand of Burberry. This one has gotten a lot of hype, especially in the last couple of years. And I've never reviewed it for some reason, and it's been out for over 20 years. But today we're gonna to be talking about Burberry's Touch, which was launched in 2000, and it's classed as a woody floral musk. The note breakdown, according to Fragrantica, top notes are gonna be violet leaf, artemisia, and mandarin, with the mid being white pepper, cedar, and nutmeg, and the base is white musk, tonka bean, and vetiver. So what do I get out of this scent here? This opens up with lots of violet leaf. The violet leaf is one of the most prominent notes to this scent along with the musk, but throw in some spices and a little bit of woods and that's what you're gonna get. This fragrance, however, I get lots of powder. This is a very powdery scent, yet it is a little bit masculine. I, I normally assume a lot of these powdery scents as feminine. Not all, like you have like Burberry Brit, which is a very powdery scent, along with some of these iris heavy fragrances such as Dior Homme. This does smell a little bit dated, however, so this does smell like the early 2000s. So I do believe that someone who is my age or somebody who grew up with this fragrance, so my age or older, would truly appreciate this one than someone who is in their early 20s. Some young men will most certainly like this one. This is more of a fall in spring scent, yet I do think that you can wear this on a cooler summer night. During the daytime, however, might be a little bit too heavy, like when it comes to that hot summer heat. Versatility is very good. I think that you could dress this one down to dressing it up. So something like this to something that's like a black tie. Tuxedo, no, but black tie, semi-formal, yes. It's more of a daytime type of scent, even though that I did say that you can wear this on a cooler summer night. When it comes to like a cooler summer night, I'm thinking like a casual, night out, like a casual dinner with your significant other, and then perhaps a movie, something like that. Longevity, wow, <laughs> really good. I got eight to 10 hours and projection was moderate, yet I think that this will be quite heavy if you do like six or more sprays. For me, this is three to four sprays. Price tag, this is very affordable. Burberry, when they first come out, they're quite expensive. The brand itself is very luxurious. It has a, it has a very, heavy price tag when it comes to their material goods. Their fragrances are no exception. However, in due time, they go to the discounters, the, the discount bin, the bargain bin, as we call it. And you can get this for as low as $30. This one here was $20, and I got this at Shoppers Drug Mart, so pretty much like our CVS or Walgreens. So just like you guys, we do have a fragrance special where they just sell like $20 fragrances. Yeah, you could get these for as low as 15, all the way to $30. Wife's thoughts on this one. Wife does like it, but she does not love it. She finds it's very powdery, spicy, but also woody. So my final thoughts of Burberry Touch for Men. I like it, but I don't love it. This isn't one that I personally would not really reach for again. And I almost forgot to mention, in some ways, in some ways now, this kind of reminds me of Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mans. I know, but in some ways it does. Just that that violet leaf. So like with JPG Le Mans, you get like lavender, you get like mint, you get like, um, there, there's gotta be some violet to that one there. But the airiness from the violet leaf in this and that powderiness as well, in some ways does remind me of JPG in some ways. I would say that this is way classier than JPG. I do not like JPG and I don't love this one either. I don't hate it, but it's just not one that I would more than likely reach for. If, if I did not wear this ever again, I'm not gonna lose any sleep. Yeah, this is a great scent, a great signature versatile fragrance for, I would say, someone who's over 30. Again, this came out in the early 2000s. This will be older than some of the people out there that might wear this, and there's nothing wrong with that. Yet I just think that with a fragrance like this, that someone who is like my age would truly appreciate this one a lot more than someone who's in their early 20s. I know guys like Big Beard Business, Darian from the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, they've been hyping this one up for a little while now, and they love it. I'm also older than those two gentlemen, so. They are also quite more mature than I am as well, but I am the older guy. I'm the old fart of the three. 
But if you want something that's budget friendly, that's gonna last you a long time, and a very good signature scent for an older man, in my opinion, then Burberry Touch is a great fragrance for you, especially if you like spicy, woody, and powdery types of scents. So guys, if I'm gonna have to give this rating out of five, this will have to be a three and a half. Even though it really is not for me, the versatility, the longevity, and the price tag are what make this fragrance really good. And the smell itself, is not bad, it's just not for me. I'm not big into the powdery scents, but there's still quality to this one here. So guys, that is my quick little take of Burberry's Touch for Men. If you wanna see some other great budget-friendly reviews, then please check out this side here. And if you wanna check out some smell rates on some budget-friendly brands, then please check out this side here. Any reviews that I've done from this brand, as usual, will be in the description below. And I'm gonna try and do a few more Burberry reviews in the next two to three months when this video goes out. So guys, I thank you for your time, take care, and also, if you like this very video, make sure to give it one of these. Thank you for your time, take care, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everyone.